Uh, okay, this is uh, a Superstar 2000 here. Includes the PTBM 1021 T4X board here. And uh, we have a problem here with bad gritty SSP modulation. Yes, uh, the solution is uh, we must modify the biasing part of the driver transistor and the final transistor um, because uh, some Cybernet boards um, suffer with distorted gritty sounding audio on SSB is caused by a low bias in the RF output stage which caused the outgoing signal to distort Yes, uh, a transistor requires a minimum of around 0 0.6 volt to conduct on the base and signal below this level are clipped endless and the transistor is biased to conduction with a constant DC current and we need about 50 milliamps DC current. Yes, um, the bias pot uh, is open fully center uh, clockwise here and now we will measure the bias current here and I know we must change uh, the, trans uh, the resistor number 47 and resistor number 44 okay here we have a short circuit plug to send without modulation on USB and now I will give signal switched on the transceiver in the transmit position okay and now I will measure the bias current you can see on the display it's about 35 milliamps you know the pot, the biasing pot, is open and this is fully center clockwise here. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Here, fully center clockwise open here. Okay, here we will take a look in the schematic. The problem is here uh, the R47. 10 ohms is too low, um, we must change it uh, with a, a type between 15 and 22 ohms and I will take uh, 22 ohms here and then we need to change the R46 or 47 in this schematic is the 46 and we will change this uh, with a 10 ohm type, you can take this 10 ohm type to here and then we have enough uh, base and current here and we can set it to 50 milliamps ok now we will solder the R46 or 47 and R44 here S S I here and now the resistors falling are falling out here tuck and here okay it's enough here and we can see here 10 ohms or 44 and 68 ohms or 47 or 46 yes and this 22 ohm type is the new R47 and the old 47 Here's the new 46, the 10 ohm. And then we get 
enough bias Q rent. Okay, now we resolve R46 and R47 here. Okay, fine business. Okay, now I will set the pot to the center here, the bias pot. And I think it's good, so, and then I will measure the bias current of the modification. Okay, I will look at the bias current, I switched on the trend here. Okay, and now we look at the current here. And the, the bias pot is in the middle. Okay, we need to increase the current okay I think this position here now we look again switch on and current is now 35 we need a little bit more okay enough I think fifty fifty one okay I think it's okay uh, okay we are ready to set here on twenty eight three oh five and this is the power meter audio audio okay I must uh, Realign the transmitter section and then uh, it's okay here. Okay, and this is a Midland 6001 precision series, uh, 400 channels, uh, all mode, and uh, includes a PTBM uh, 125. And uh, the pre-amplifier is a, a 2SC2166 here and in the Superstar is a 2SC9009 and uh, the bias current here on the preamp must be about uh, 30 to 50 milliamps and uh, we will measure here the current at this point uh, emitter to the ground here emitter leg to the ground okay I will look to current now I'm TXing here switched on and we can see the meter it's about 21 milliamps and we get a little bit more Okay, we will get change to R43 at this point here, it's about 47 ohms and we will change it with a 56 ohm or 86 ohm, what's better? Okay, this is a 68 ohm resistor and this is the new R43 here. Now to resolve the legs here and here uh, okay the bias current is a little bit better about 25 milliamps and I think it's good here if you can check that yes it's okay for this okay the R43 here on the PTPM uh, 125 is now changed uh, with a 68 um, ohm type and I think the modulation is, uh, is, is very good now at the moment it's, it's very good here and now we will make the similar on a 131 board yes this is also a Lafayette radio uh, from uh, it's a Swiss brand Gamond Lafayette here AFS 805 uh, with a linear amplifier here uh, includes the 131 board by uh, Cybernet 
Uh, this is the power amplifier input output tuning here. And here we have the similar problem here. We just uh, must remove the 10 ohm resistor here, the R47 in this schematic here. And it will be changed with 22 ohms. And then I think it will be good here. Uh, yes, this uh, awesome uh, Lafayette radio includes a Uneden uh, net block here. Power block. It's a Uneden type here. Very thick wires here. But we need about 15 amps here. Okay. And then we will change also the R43, this is a 47 ohm resistor, will be changed with uh, 68 ohms. Then uh, we get a little bit higher uh, bias current on the preamplifier. This transistor here is a 2SC2166 uh, here. And in 2166 the Superstar radio with the similar board with uh, the 131 board it's a 2SC1909 installed okay this is a uh, Lafayette I will check the bias current of the driver 2166 here and we have about 20 milliamps and I try to get 25 to 30. Yes, uh, this is uh, R43, the older one, 47 ohms. And this is the new R43, about 68 ohms. Okay, cut off the legs here. And here. Okay, the driver bias. Current is now about 25 26 milliamps. Oh, very good. Should be between 30 and 50, but it's enough, I think. Okay, now we check the final bias current by the Lafayette here PDBM131 switched on. The Pot the RV2 is fully counterclockwise here, and now we will check the current here. Oh, only about 20. Oh, it's it's too low. It's too low. We need 50. Okay, this is the old R47 here, 10 ohms, and this is the new one, the 22 ohms. Okay, R47 is. Uh, resolder it here, cut off the legs and check the current. Uh, yes, okay, it's about 56 milliamps, and we reset this. Okay, I think this position here. Okay, RV2 is set. Now we transmit without modulation USB and now we check. Okay, about 50 milliamps. Very good, very good. 